There are many times in the sciences when it's desirable to not use numbers, but instead treat one variable as though it were x and the other variables as though they were numbers. That's what we're going to do now. z is acting like x. We're going to solve for z and treat n, w, and s as though they were numbers. For that reason, since w and s are multiplied by z, we're going to divide both sides of this equation by w and s. What that will give us on the left <clears throat> is n over w s, and on the right, w over w is 1, s over s is 1, times z. Which means z equals n over w s. And that's what it's all about. We now have created a new formula. Let's try another. K is acting like S, and all the other letters and numbers are acting like numbers. So we need to solve first for 4K. Since 4U is added on to 4K, it's much easier to subtract both sides by 4U. 4U is acting like a number. I need to move it over to s, which is acting like a number. So s minus 4u, remember I have to subtract 4u from both sides or add the opposite of 4u in order to move it. That will equal 4k plus 4u, then minus 4u. Why did I do that? because 4u minus 4u equals 0. Therefore, I have s minus 4u equals 4k plus 0, which is just 4k. So s minus 4u is going to equal 4k. Remember, s and u are acting like numbers. k is acting like x. So now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation to get k all by itself, just like I would x. I divide by 4, and I divide by 4. Four over four is one. So on the right, I'll have one times k, which is k. And that's going to equal s minus four u over four. Now let's try this one. a equals q plus q times w times d and we're solving for w, which means w is acting like x. a, q, and d are acting like numbers. Since addition is a much looser bond than multiplication, we can go ahead and subtract q over to the other side. <coughs> a minus q equals q minus q, which is 0, plus q times w times d. q, w, and d are all multiplied together. They have a much stronger bond holding them together. To get w by itself, <clears throat> I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by q 
and by D. The Q's cancel, the D's cancel, leaving me with W all by itself, and what it equals is capital A minus Q over QD. No, don't cancel those Q's. There's a reason. Now, finally, we have a times x, we'll actually be using x here, a times x plus g times y equals j. x is what I'm looking for. So at first I have to solve for the ax term, and I'm going to do that by subtracting gy from both sides of this equation. Since gy is added on to the ax, it's much easier to remove it because addition and subtraction are loose bonds. The left side of the equation will equal ax plus 0 the right side will equal j minus gy. Notice that when the problem writes a letter as a capital letter, you write a capital letter. When it writes a letter as a lowercase letter, you write the lowercase letter. So ax equals j minus gy. Now, to get x by itself, I'll divide both sides by a. The a's cancel, which means they turn into a 1, because a over a is 1. x is going to equal j minus gy over a.